not want uh, those of you who come from out of town to have the impression that this is the way it is every morning in uh, Washington. Mr. Attorney General, Mr. Secretary, Governor Brown, Mr. Secretary, Mayor Wagner, Mr. Chairman, participants in this conference, I want to welcome you to Washington on a matter which I think is of a great urgent uh, public attention. White House uh, conferences are, can be uh, useful or they can be uh, merely uh, window dressing. But I don't think that uh, there's been, there's any field about which uh, there is so much divided opinion, so many, uh, so much uh, possible to do, and in some places uh, so limited in action as this field of uh, narcotics and drug control of abuse. For more than a half a century, this nation has faced persistent and difficult problems arising out of the abuse of narcotic and non-narcotic drugs. It is especially tragic and upsetting that this great loss to our society in the form of human suffering and misery and lost productivity flows directly from agents which possess the capacity to relieve pain and suffering. Properly and expertly used, they contribute significantly to the improvement and betterment of our lives. This national problem merits national concern. I'm confident that the White House Conference, the first ever held in this field, will help focus attention on the various aspects of the problem, and most importantly, will permit a pooling of our information and experiences to the end that an orderly, vigorous, and direct attack can be undertaken at all levels, local, state, federal, and international. Assembled here today are representatives from cities, states, and 12 different federal agencies, including many of the nation's most distinguished men and women in the field of medicine, law, sociology, education, and law enforcement. There is universal agreement that the two key objectives of an effective program are the elimination of illicit traffic in drugs, and secondly, the rehabilitation and restoration to society of drug addicts. In recent years, we have seen a dramatic and drastic reduction in the volume of illegal narcotic and drugs brought into this country. This is a result of the cooperative effort of numerous federal, state, and local agencies. But I must single out the Federal Bureau of Narcotics for special note. Under the forceful and purposeful leadership of Commissioner Anslinger, the Bureau reduced this misery-producing traffic so effectively that where 35 years ago addicts could purchase 100 percent or pure heroin, the sharply curtailed amount entering the United States today requires traffickers to dilute their product to the point that the addict obtains only 3 to 5 percent heroin in the packet that he purchases. This morning, I presented a special citation to Commissioner Anslinger expressing the appreciation and gratitude owed by the people of the United States to him and by the world community for the enormous contribution he has made in this vital field. This aspect of the attack on the drug abuse problem must continue, and I'm confident that the conference panel devoted to this subject will bring together our nation's most experienced and skilled personnel. Although there is admittedly some divergence of view regarding the remedial action which is most appropriate, for the addict who ped peddles illicit narcotics, there is no divergence of opinion on the need for vastly improved techniques and programs aimed at rehabilitating all addicts. The discouragingly high degree of relapse among addicts who leave our medical institutions free of any physical dependence on drugs is clear evidence that more must be done. One of the areas where I feel that uh, there is some need for improvement is in the collection of statistics. I've seen various uh, governmental uh, agencies uh, report uh, figures dealing with the same uh, matters, uh, which are s quite different. And therefore, I hope that uh, this conference will stimulate the orderly collection of statistics by both the states and the federal government, which will serve as a basis for action. In addition, I think that there is clear need for, uh, we hope, greater uniformity of opinion by those in this field, medicine, law enforcement, and all the rest, as to the proper method of treatment how much uh, should be done in hospitals, how much should be done in outpatient uh, treatment, uh, what kind of hospitals we need, uh, what kind of uh, medical treatment is most effective. On all these matters, there is such a variety of opinion that I feel that this conference can play a more significant role than most conferences in attempting to assemble in a more unified viewpoint for guidance uh, the uh, varying opinions in the field and uh, the varying uh, suggestions for improvement. We have had, as you know, uh, uh, the Science Advisory Committee, headed by Dr. Wiesner, has had a panel working on this matter. The results of this panel have been made available to all of you, and I hope will serve as the basis for further discussion. 
But I do believe that there is no area about which uh, there is so much a mystery and, in a sense, uh, so much uh, misunderstanding, where there is so much a uh, difference of opinion. And therefore, I think that this conference can serve a more useful role than many other conferences have served in the past. This conference should not be merely uh, window dressing, but instead should serve as a basis for a much more effective and renewed uh, action by the national government as well as by the states. Some of the states have been extremely advanced in this field. Uh, we're glad that uh, Governor Brown is here. California has taken a very active role in this matter. But I think that there's a good deal more that the states as well as the federal government can do. What I think we are looking for from you gentlemen is guidance about what actions we might take. Uh, what, uh, where should be the uh, thrust of the national action? I'm sure we can secure budgetary support once we've made a cl clear determination as to what should be the road of governmental action, as well as action by the state. One meriting, problem meriting special attention deals with a growing abuse of non-narcotic drugs, including barbiturates and amphetamines. Society's gains will be illusory if we reduce the incidence of one kind of drug dependence only to have new kinds of drugs substituted. Abuse of these drugs is increasingly creating problems of abnormal and antisocial behavior, highway accidents, juvenile delinquency, and broken homes. The Congress is now considering legislation, which I've requested, to strengthen federal authority to control the manufacture and distribution of barbiturates and stimulant drugs. This key area should be the subject of continuous intensive scrutiny. The sooner effective devices for preventing abuse of these drugs are implemented, the less severe the problem will be. Our focus on national issues must not obscure the international aspects of our drug abuse problem. Criminals responsible for international traffic in illicit narcotics have no respect for national boundaries. Many nations have a real concern in controlling illicit traffic. And towards this end, the United States, through our representation on the United Nations Commission on Narcotic Drugs, has sought international cooperation in dealing with this trade. In addition, the United States government will continue to work directly with other nations to secure adequate international controls. In my recent conversations with President Mateos of Mexico, we discussed the eradication of illegal drug traffic and agreed to redouble our efforts and our cooperation to achieve it. The Bureau of Narcotics has cooperated with narcotic enforcement officers in Europe and the Near and Middle East to strike at the foreign sources of illicit narcotic traffic intended for United States consumption. These efforts have been so successful that the activity of the Bureau of Narcotics is being expanded to other parts of the world a program which will be implemented before the end of the year. It is unfortunate that in this area of drug abuse, as I said at the beginning, there have been conflicting approaches, a dearth of hard factual data, and only partial cooperation between federal, state, and local government levels. It is our hope, therefore, that this conference will give us a more effective guidance to determine what the most, uh, how more effective means for control of the traffic across uh, state and international borders can be achieved, what uh, judgments uh, you can make as to the most effective means of treatment, both in the hospitals and out of the hospital, what are the most effective uh, kinds of hospitals, where uh, federal energy should be directed in the next uh, year, where state energy should be directed, and uh, what, uh, what, how important a role uh, environment, circumstances, uh, uh, jobs, how important a role these play on uh, men and women who have been cured but who must return to the same environment from which they came, um, from which their addiction first uh, began. All these are problems uh, for which we need guidance. I don't think that there is any area about uh, which, uh, a conference, uh, on which a conference could be held where the members of the conference could play a more significant role. This conference and its members, I know, do not consider themselves uh, as ornamental uh, fixtures to uh, give uh, sort of a public uh, look at a problem. Instead, we want direct guidance from you. And uh, this mixture of talents and experiences which are brought together here at this White House conference, the first one ever held in this field, can serve as a very positive base for a much more comprehensive action by us all. What you do here, uh, we will attempt, and what you suggest, we will attempt to implement. And I think that after a year has gone by, we can make a real judgment on the success of this conference. I want to express uh, my personal appreciation to all of you who carry many burdens and responsibilities, to all of you for having come, therefore, and taken part in this vital meeting. Gentlemen, thank you.